Okay, everybody, we're experiencing a great quarter. Now we're seeing a 2% increase in our profits. All our productivity numbers have increased, and we're seeing an uptake in new business. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So Carlson got us the Fist Industries account. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. And Ken Warren's got us Allied Supermarkets. <laughs> All right, folks, but let's not forget the biggest new account that we got this quarter now. We've been trying to get the Peterson account for seven years now, but we finally got it, thanks to Yanni. Oh, Mr. Anderson, uh, the Peterson account was actually Yanni's account, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that, Laurel. That's, that's just oh, well, then why'd you say it was mine? Yeah. Laurel, are you seriously going to give Laurel all the credit for Yanni's hard work? Yes, yeah, seriously. I am the one who closed the Peterson account, no matter what Laurel or Mr. Anderson say. I just say. said that. Yes, you did. And personally, I think it's a little narrow-minded to think that Yanni couldn't close Peterson because she's a woman. Whoa! Did you just call me a woman, Kenmore? A woman? <laughs> I would never call you a woman, Laurel. Oh, why am I not a woman? Seriously? Is that because you think women can't do things like close big accounts? That is such a chauvinist bastard thing to think! But I wasn't, I, that's not what I meant. Oh was, no, you called me a woman, Kenmore. Is this because of what happened at the holiday party? Holy mm. cow, Kenmore, did you and Laura hook up at the party? Why would I hook up with Kenmore, Carlson? Are you calling me easy? Look at I'm you. not gay! Come on, everybody gets crazy at holiday parties. I didn't mean that I wasn't a woman. Oh, okay, I get it, Kenmore. You weren't into it, and guess what? If I hadn't drank that whole bottle of peppermint schnapps, um, you, I wouldn't have been into it either. <laughs> you drank a whole bottle of peppermint schnapps? That is gay, Laurel. Why are you bringing me into this, Montgomery? Okay, people, people, can we get back on track here? Yes, but I, I think... Hmm? Oh, sorry, the call. Hmm? Hello? Yeah? Uh-huh. Yes, of course. Of course, I'm putting on hold. Uh, Laurel, it's your, uh, wife? She's on hold. Oh, yeah, okay, now I have a wife and I'm gay. Everybody knows it. Oh, hey, Yanny. Nice. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tonight on TMI, Starbucks gets sensitive, Ambien gets racist, and Solo gets solo. With music by Amber Doss. Tonight, on TMI. Hey, hey, everybody, thanks so much for coming to our summer season premiere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, hey, so, what are you doing? Oh, well, I thought that since we didn't have a host tonight, I might kind of squeeze in as this week's guest, you know? No, I, I get that. I'm just, uh, why are you talking to a bunch of empty chairs? Oh, <laughs> I'm acting. <laughs> uh, you know, as a host, addressing like a pack crowd. <laughs> so, like, it's cool that you're acting like the host mm -hmm. yeah. while acting like there's an audience? Um, but even when we do have a host, mm. they don't address the audience. Oh, well, I thought I could be the first. The first what? Host, to address the audience. But you're not the host. And what? there's no audience. You, okay, guys, er, that's not entirely true. I know there's some people out there. Like, I saw somebody, uh, no, okay, that's a sweater left over from the last show. Well, somebody was over, uh, it's a stain on it. I'm sure there are people watching online. Hey, so. do you guys mind if I, like, stand up here with you? Yeah, uh, come on. Come on. Yeah, cool. Thanks. So what are we talking about? Yeah, so uh, Hayes is pretending that he's tonight's host. Yeah, and he's pretending there's an audience. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stand back here. Okay. No, guys, look, come on. I always wanted to do the thing where I was the host, and the host comes out and does their little monologue for the audience, like on SNL, right? right. So can you just indulge me? Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and do it. And we got like, a, what, an hour to kill? So, yes. I mean, it might be better than doing the actual show. <laughs> might be. Will be. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, go get him, champ. Thanks. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. I'm so glad to be here. And uh, when I was asked to host this show, I immediately. Hey, have you guys seen that Solo, the <laughs> Star Wars Han Solo like origin story, is being called like a major flop because it only made 105 million dollars, but it cost 250 million to make. Right. Crazy, Emma. My monologue. I'm sorry. Okay, right, so as I was saying, when I was asked to host this week, You know, this past Tuesday, all the guys at Starbucks actually had to close their doors because they're educating all their workers on anti-bias sensitivity training. Uh, huh. Ooh. Do you think they'll open a Starbucks at the White House? As, as I was saying, when I was asked to show this host, ah, I mean, host this show, 
Oh, forget it. Yeah, I said my weekend's completely open, so I guess I'll do it. Fine. <laughs> training here in a few minutes, so what we're going to need to do is, you know, just uh, as politely as you can, uh, ask our customers to, you know, just to finish up, and then we'll get started, okay? Okay. All right. Great. Yuki, hi. Hi, how you doing there? So we're actually closing up early this afternoon for our sensitivity training. Yeah, so if you wouldn't mind just finishing up your drink, that's great. I think it's really great what Starbucks is doing. Yeah, you know, we're, tr we're trying to make some real change. Mm -hmm. That's great. Let's get out of here so you can do what you gotta do. Thank you. Ladies, so I don't know if you heard, but Starbucks is actually closing a little bit early today so that we can work on some internal issues involving racial discrimination. So. Oh, yeah, uh, we're just finishing up. Yeah, we're gonna take off. Great, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, bye bye. <laughs> You know, I was thinking you would ask this fellow <laughs> to leave. Well, you know what, Mike? I was figuring you were going to do that, so... Yeah. Me? Why me? Uh, well, why not you? You're a guy. You know, just talk to him. Just tell him. Tell him, just tell him I'm closing early. All right. Fine. I'll go. <laughs> oh, what? Come on, go. Hold on. What if this is part of the training? What? Uh, now, hear me out. What if Starbucks put a black guy here to test us on how we do when we ask him to leave? Do you really think that Starbucks is that ingenious? <laughs> uh, yeah. These are the people that created a triple chai half cap half deep cap latte frappuccino. They're capable of anything. You're right, Mike. That black guy's probably a plant. Ooh. Well, that is one plant that I'm not, um... What, what, what are you doing here? I'm trying to think of like a witty analogy for like a black guy and a plant. Mm. It's hard, you know? Yeah. Oh, it sounds like it, yeah. Okay. Well, that is one plant that I'm not going to get out by the roots. How's that? <laughs> saying, yeah, it's okay. Do you see what I did there? Because he's black yeah. and roots. He's a yeah. root. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? Okay, okay oh. look, if he's really a plant, then Stan probably knows who he is. Why don't we just ask Stan? Stan! The boss! Okay, what's that? Stan! Stan! Hi, Stan. Hey, uh, did you get everybody out? Yeah, everyone but the plant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, plant? I'm sorry. Uh, the plant. That plant. That's an African-American male. Exactly. An African-American male plant. I'm a little confused. Plants are normally green. He's not. <laughs> I think I'm following it. I think I get it. Yeah, Mikey and Shelly believe that that African American male has been planted here to test us. Thank you. That's right. Yeah. Okay, by whom? By the evil geniuses at Starbucks corporate. You really think corporate's that ingenious? Or? Oh my gosh, have you ever tried a Starbucks cake pop? Those bastards can do anything! Thank you, that is what I've been saying! Okay, okay, those evil geniuses at Starbucks corporate. Why, why doesn't someone just go up to him very nicely and ask him to leave? I mean, that is what corporate wants us to do, um, but he could be wearing like a body cam, you know what I mean? Like one of those that streams. 1080p, mm. it's hitting like a button. And if he's got Wi-Fi signal good enough, he can be streaming 4K. Oh, we have great Wi-Fi here at Starbucks. She's right, it's impeccable. <laughs> this guy is probably streaming a pristine 4K image all the way back to corporate <laughs> in Seattle, just so they can see how we deal with a black guy. <laughs> well, no way I'm doing it. I have college tuition to pay for, and there's no way I'm going back to working the poll. Me too. I mean, I've got bills to pay, not about working a poll. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess I'll, uh, I'll get to the bottom of it. Really? You're, you're going to go talk to the, pl uh, the plant? No, of course I'm not going to talk. I'm going to call another Starbucks and see if uh, they deal with the same thing, okay? Yes, they're probably doing this at all Starbucks. Yes. Maybe this is the training session. Maybe we're being trained as we speak. Okay, uh, 
Corporate wanted me to play a video, uh, uh, Key from Key and Peele, uh, something about discussing uh, what a bummer it is to be singled out for a race. So they had, they had Keel, Key but no Peele? Yeah, well, I mean, come on, let's face it, Peele won the Oscars, so race really is not an issue for that guy anymore, right? <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and call the Starbucks across the street so you can figure this out. Oh, Judy. Great. Yeah, it's Stan from the Starbucks across the street. Right. <laughs> right, we're doing the uh, anti-bias training, too. Listen, I got a quick question. Do you have any uh, black people at your store? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. Of course we know no black people work at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you have any uh, black customers? Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Right, well, I'll let you go then. Right. Oh, happy anti-bias training, thank you. <laughs> well, the verdict's in. There's no black people at the Starbucks across the street. Huh? So, so what does that mean for us? It means we're probably just overreacting. It means that this is just a random black guy that doesn't know that we're closing early today. And one of us should just go up to him and tell him. <laughs> but who? Oh, real adults, you guys! Fine, I'll do it! You know, Mike, we're all real proud of you. Thanks, boss. Mike, be careful. Mike? Yeah. Thought it was Mark this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> So, it's up to you. Um, we're, I don't know if you were aware of this, but Starbucks is actually closing a little bit early today. Oh, uh, wow, so, well, because of uh, race. Not your race, we're, we're racist. I'm not racist, Starbucks is. We're trying not to be. <laughs> I am back. <laughs> so. Starbucks is closing today a little bit early so that we can work on our anti-bias sensitivity training for the whole staff. Oh, okay. The, the, the thing is on the internet. Okay, the anti <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I see that's important. I'll go ahead and get on you guys. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, cool. thank, you, thank you for letting me know. Right? Thank, right. you. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, man. Bye now. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, my god. The way of that is over. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, we Finally got rid of the black guy. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, um, forgot my jacket. <laughs> Question: Do any of you know the number to Starbucks Corporate? Damn it! <laughs> Solo for solo. Oh no, you and Cleo are no mo? Dunzo. Oh no. Oh, how you feeling, bro? So so. Hey, oh, I can hook you up with my friend Coco. Ew, not the one that dances go go and no ho. She's a psycho. Yeah, but she's also a total nympho. Nympho? Give me your digits. <coughs> and don't take her out for tacos and burritos at Pepitos and Escondido. <laughs> but first, solo, Dano. Right. Hey, oh, here comes Aubrey. Oh. Don't say anything about his dog, Fido. Fido? Fido got parvo and he went wacko. <coughs> Do you think he's here for Solo? Don't know. Yo. Yo. Came to see Solo. Bumped into Dan, who was Solo, because Cleo is no mo. But he was like, YOLO. I'll see Solo. <laughs> no. Yo. What a fiasco. But Rachel's going to hook him up with Coco. The go-go from NoHo, who's a nympho and a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> so everything's Coolio. You going to see Solo? Hell no, man. Hell no, fools. Solo's aren't cool, man. I'm going to go see Deadpool. Later, tools. Huh. I guess Aubrey is a no-go. Well, he can kiss my kudo. Whoa. Whoa, Rachel, whoa. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, at least I'm happy to know that I don't have to go solo for solo. Faux show! <laughs> racist and anti-Semitic tweets were caused by Ambien, the sleep aid drugs. You're, uh, you're Jewish, right, sir? Yes, I am, Jess. Ah, uh, it's a good thing I don't have a sleep thing problem disorder thing, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, uh, the book club, that was a huge hit for Paramount. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, considering its relatively small budget, it's about to beat the $50 million mark at the domestic box office making it a huge hit, thanks mostly to women who were the predominant audience for it. Well, just think if Solo, a Star Wars bomb, starred a seven-year-old woman instead of a 20-year-old wise-ass, it might have done better. We may never know, Matt. If they pass me, And then I said, you could do whatever you want to me. But don't be mad if I sleep through it. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wanted to hold it. Hey, is it just me, or is it like, um, uh... Like an ice cream in here, right? Yeah. What are you guys talking about? I'm actually a little bit warm. Oh. Hey! Hey, guys! Whoa! Are you curing me in here? What's with the cold? See? God, Kyle, you're always so cold. It is actually so comfortable in here. You know, I am kind of breaking a sweat. Yeah, I might turn the air up. What do you guys think? No! Oh. No! Oh. Oh. Jesus, it's like I can see my breath in here, Diana. You little pussy. You guys are such insensitive pricks. I should have become a lesbian when I had the chance. You son of a bitch bastard. Is, is anybody else freezing in here? Oh my god, my skin's turning blue. Give me this, you insensitive prick. Okay, what the hell's going on? Wait, what's wrong with you three? Like one second you're warm, next you're freezing. What's going on? Why are words coming out of that bitch mouth of yours when you could be turning the air off? It's like an ice cream cup in this piece! Like breathing in hot air. 
Or something right now? I am sweating my balls off. I am turning the air up. Okay, what about Allie? Allie went with you guys too, right? Allie must be fine. <laughs> right? Right? Hey, guys. <laughs> Anybody mind if we eat in tonight? <laughs> God damn you, Jane Fonda! <laughs> 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 Tweet speak for itself. Racism is not a side effect of Ambien. I don't care what Roseanne Barr claims. Thank you. No, we make a pill that remedies sleeplessness, not one that fuels hate speech. Thank you. No, we are not going to have any further comment on Roseanne's preposterous claims against our product. Damn it, this Roseanne thing is out of control. I know. I've been taking calls all morning about it. This is ridiculous. Why is this even a conversation? Does anyone really believe the nonsense that comes out of Roseanne's mouth? I don't know if they believe it, but they sure are willing to waste time following up on it. Oh, it's so crazy people would entertain this kind of stupidity. I mean, we are ambient, damn it. We help people sleep, not hate. Okay, okay, guys, we are done for. Roseanne has blown the lid off of ambient. Yeah, can you believe those false accusations she made? Mark, for God's sake, I hope they were false accusations. Look, this Roseanne thing has really blown us out of the water. Wait. What are you saying, Doug? Come on, don't be naive. You all know the truth. Oh, the tr what truth? The truth that Roseanne just exposed, that Ambien, while it does help people with sleeplessness, has one really nasty side effect. Blatant, uncontrollable racism. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop messing with us, Doug. I'm not messing with you, Mark. My God, it's true. What's true? It's true, it's so true. How, how do you know? It's the commercial. The commercial gives it away. You know, at the end when they give the side effects, clearly the voiceover guy says that one of the side effects is racism. Really? I, I can never tell what they're saying because they say it so fast. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I have seen this commercial a hundred times. Just, although ambient is safe for daily use, some side effects may occur, including rapid heart rate, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, impaired vision, racism, <laughs> reaction, <laughs> what, what, what is it? What did I say? What did I say? Oh, holy crap, it was there all along. That's why they say it so fast. Oh, this makes so much sense. No wonder Latino men stop dating me. Oh my god. I called my husband a filthy brick-laying Dago in bed the other night. I didn't know your husband was a builder. He's not, but he is Italian. Uh, amazing. Ambien is the reason I hate myself so much. I'm a self-hating Jew, guys, but apparently it's all because of Ambien. Wow, this is so crazy, but why? Why would racism be one of the side effects to Ambien? You know, you would think that that's something they would try and work out before they brought it to the market. Well, I don't have the answer to that, but we all know who does. Now, you guys remember the maker of Ambien, Dr. Hans Stuhledorf, and his assistant, Fraulein Schmidt. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm the Hans. How is it hanging, y'all? Y'all? <laughs> kind of bad, actually. Y'all, let's hear this. Um, hi, doctor, and... You. Um, do you mind telling us why racism is a side effect of Ambien? Yes, this makes for a very interesting story. Very interesting. Yeah, see, when we first make the Ambien, we try many things. Some things make you sleep too much, or some make you sleep not enough. You see, we try all sorts of things chemicals, relaxing, calming oils, milk extracts, even. Forcing people to watch NBC's primetime lineup. But it turns out all you need for a relaxing night's sleep is a pinch of racism. I'm just saying. He's just saying. That seems a little unbelievable. I mean, seriously, wasn't there anything else you could have substituted in that would have, you know, caused less hate speech? Perhaps. But who knows for sure? <laughs> but I'll sleep on it and I will call you in the morning. <laughs> you see, I make the sleep jokes there. I still got it. <laughs> he hates everything. Okay, so I'm happy that you're in such a jovial mood, but this whole Roseanne thing has really affected Ambien on the market. Yes, this could be a disaster for the company. Of course it will not be. Hans already has a solution. Great, so you're going to change the ingredients of Ambien so it doesn't make you racist to those who are taking it. <laughs> of course not. 
Then what are we going to do to save Ambien? There's only one thing you can do. But space. just but. That's right. You buy more time for commercials on the Fox News. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that that can actually work. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah. What do you know about making plans, Yahib? Oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm ambient. I took it as it had been more. Apology accepted. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and call Fox News. Maybe we'll get some open time on Hannity. Ladies and gentlemen, Amber Doss. Welcome to the John Mayer Show, the only show that features John Mayer's unique political opinions. Here's your host, John Mayer. talking about the possible upcoming North Korean nuclear summit with my special guest, National Security Advisor, John Bolton. Chairs, Kenny, around. <clears throat> so, both time. How's it go? One. Uh, what? So, how you 
feeling about that North Korean meeting? Right. Well, as you may know, we were set to meet June 11th. However, our administration felt that Kim Jong-un may not, may not be dealing in good faith, so we canceled and we forced him back to the negotiating table. So Trump ain't feeling Jim Jong-un's double dealing? Uh, that's a simple way to put it. <laughs> Simple's good till you need to get it high. You feel me? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> <clears throat> so Trump backed out of that meeting until Kim Jong-un decides to act good. Well, when you're dealing with a ruthless dictator, it's important that you show strength so that they know who's in control. <laughs> control? Mm, I'm all about that game. Son, this is not a game. In that game of control, everybody wants to know who ends up on top and who's on their back. Don't matter which side you're on, just as long as everything fits where it counts. Are you even <laughs> listening to the words? that are coming out of my mouth, because I don't think you are. Hey, you might have the right words, but it don't mean that they're in, that they're in the right order. Alphabet soup don't make no sense till you whip out that spoon, son, you dig? <laughs> opportunity to take a few questions from our audience. Okay, what about the nu North Korean nuclear threat? Hey, if you're worried about blowing up, all you gotta do is take your hand off that trigger. What? Okay, now you. You're a dude. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Boom. Any money more her. Hey. Oh. Okay, are we just gonna stare at each other all night or what? We see a lot more with our eyes, making our words less important. You're on drugs! Hi, John. I'm Crystal from Hacienda Heights. What you got for me, Hacienda? Actually, this question is for Mr. Bolton. Oh, well, boom, great. Okay. Hi, Mr. Bolton. So you're the National Security Advisor guy. Advisor. And, uh, National Security Guy Advisor. And I was wondering if you could maybe advise John Mayer to take it home with him tonight. Young lady, I find this highly inappropriate. Hey, uh, let's just say I can advise my night staff about a late night caller. <gasps> Any other questions? <laughs> Boom. Hurry, Kenny, before she screams. and stuff, could you maybe advise me on a secure place to tell my father that John Mayer may have gotten me into a little trouble? Now, miss, this sounds like a horrible situation. That is, don't get access to my top secrets. You know, a nuclear missile from North Korea is a life or death proposition for the entire planet, and all you want to do is talk about your schwarz. <laughs> well, my rocket goes boom, ain't nobody unhappy. <laughs> okay, you know, I thought when I was asked to come on a current event political talk show with your host, John Mayer, we might actually talk about politics, but I'm out of here, dickbag. Damn. He just called you a dick bag. <laughs> 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 
Looks like Bolton bolted. <laughs> That's all the time we got for this week's John Mass Show. Join us next time when we talk about how Trump will be bashing that Mueller investigation with my special guest, Republican Senate Chairman Richard Barr, and mixologist uh, Steve Aoki. I don't know. Until then, remember. <laughs> series on YouTube Red, it became the most watched show ever on a streaming service. Oh, well, looks like Cobra Kai waxed off the competition. <laughs> the wax on, wax off thing yeah. from the Karate Kid is Miyagi. So anyways, uh, Solo, did we talk about this already, guys? I don't think we have. Solo did so bad in the theater, like $105 million bad. I think we may have touched on a tie or two. Why do you ask, Jack? I mean, I tend to think it's going to be a valid point in a moment. Hmm. Guys, are, are you sure we have to do this? Very sure, yeah. Unfortunately, this has become a huge embarrassment for the Disney Corporation, and they want us to wipe any trace of it clean from the theme parks until we can figure out how to spin this. But do we have to get rid of the Millennium Falcon that we were putting in the new Star Wars? No, 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 nothing bad drastic, just, just that. Mm -hmm. no. Just so sad. Yes, it is sad. Considering we're at the happiest place on Earth, I am really bummed out right now. <laughs> uh, but this is what higher-ups want, and this is what we're doing. I guess. All right. Let's set them in. Yep. And I don't think I have to remind you guys, but I will remind all of you just to be professional. Okay? Yeah. Professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. you, you guys wanted to see me? Oh, hey, Chuck! Go! Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chuck, 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 everybody. Thanks for coming up, big guy. Hey, thanks for coming up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Why don't you take a seat? Oh, oh here, we did that for you. I haven't been at the big boss man's office in a long time. Oh. I think the last time I was up here is when you guys were so gracious to offer me Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was probably it. I can't tell you how much that helped out. Jeez. You know what? After months and months of saving up, my wife and I are finally able, we were finally able to actually purchase a place down here in Anaheim. Can you believe it? I know, I know, I know. And Morgan's just a bit of a bear. <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do with, you know, a newborn on the way? Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, have you seen my sonogram yet? No. No. Oh, no. hey, you know, I, gosh. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Doctor says it's a girl. I, I don't know. Does that look like a finger to you? <laughs> I don't know. You have a baby on the way. That's, that's just wonderful. She's such a nice look at me. I know. <laughs> This is my first born. Now don't, don't go along thinking that, you know, oh, oh, I'm gonna take a lot of time off of work. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not at all. I know how important that Chewbacca is to Disneyland at the park. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. While it's daytime, wife is gonna be watching the kid while I'm here working with you guys. She quit her job. Oh, can you believe oh, that? Great. No. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. She quit her job. I love that. That's, that's good. Hey, you that's know what good. I mean? Like anything for the kids. You know, uh, the Disney kids, of course. My, my kid's going to be a little bit disappointed growing up without a father during those first few formidable months. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't cry. Please don't, don't cry, you guys, on my account. Hey, 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 with smartphones, it's not like I'm really missing out on anything, right? I, I can still see her first words, her first steps. I, and when she grows up, I'm sure she'll totally understand. Daddy just had to work hard, you know? To give her that life that she deserved. Hey. Yeah, she might be the daughter of a Wookiee. <laughs> But to me, she's 
it's always going to be my own Princess Leia. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh, Jeff, why? Why did you have to be such a beautiful, beautiful man? I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy trying to do his job. Ah, yes, your job. Let's talk about that, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. I swear, if you guys brought me in here to give me a raise uh, based off of my stellar employee performance from last month, uh, there's better be some tissues in this room for this Wookiee. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm really happy like having a kid. It really brings out my emotional side. And my nipples are really, really sensitive. Uh, <laughs> the doctors say that it could be a phantom sensation, or, or as I like to call it, my own phantom menace. <laughs> but seriously, taking showers hurts. Sure. I can imagine. You know, when my wife was pregnant, I was always craving dill pickles. Archie brought ice cream. You made such a good dad. <laughs> Dan, yes. because how about we get back to the point of why we brought you up here? Oh, the yes. raise. The point of being the raise, you guys. That. I can't tell you what this extra money is going to help out so much. Uh, no. Don't get me wrong. It, Disney's insurance, their employee insurance is great. It's, I cannot stress how great it is. In fact, you know, without this insurance, I think, no, I know. There would be no way I could afford this baby. That being said, there's still plenty of expenses that this baby's gonna bring on, right? <laughs> yeah. And this extra money is gonna, it's gonna help out so, so much for me and my wife. Mm -hmm. Don't go thinking that I'm gonna be spending it on beer and chips. Not this guy. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> okay, uh, well, Chuck, you know, uh, there's no easy way to say this. HR is ready if you would like to send Chuck up for his exit interview. Oh! Oh, thanks, Muriel. Is there another Chuck? <laughs> Listen, it's not you, it's Solo. Hey? Yeah, yeah, it's Solo. Chuck, Solo just did so bad at the box office that the higher ups want us to remove any trace of the Solo movie from the parks right now. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, you know I get it. Yeah. It's probably temporary, Chuck. I mean, look, after. The movie's run its course in the next month. Well, it'll probably have made more money than we ever expected. Maybe yeah, yeah. it's temporary. Yeah, yeah, temporary. You know, maybe a month, two months, tops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe um, maybe I can convince my wife to hold off on the baby for a month or two. Mm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know that women can do that. I know. <laughs> And that, that's going to cover you for the next four weeks until you can get your own. And it'll cover your baby for the next four weeks. Oh, that's wonderful. Too bad he's not due for another seven weeks. Oh, God, God. You know what? No, um, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? You know what could really help out? Do any of you um, happen to know how to induce, induce early labor? Uh, do you know how to induce early labor? Could you, could, do you know how to do induce early labor? I don't. Okay, I'm starting. I just, I just need two weeks. Yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe you aren't handling this as well as we thought you might. Oh, whatever gave you that impression? Uh, just you know, general vibes. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just. If you guys were so upset about Han Solo, why don't you just get rid of Han Solo, huh? We don't have a Han Solo at the park. Dark Maul. We don't have one. Woody Harrelson. Chuck, we don't have a Woody Harrelson. We just have. You. Yeah, Chuck, Chewie's just got to take a little time off from the parks until we can figure this out. But I thought everybody loved Chewbacca. They did! Yeah. Well, until Solo came out, and now those box office numbers have a lot of us questioning how much love there is left out there for the old furball. You do not get to use one of Hans Hickman's. <clears throat> not today. Chuck. It's out of our hands, okay? Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Hey, hey, um, hey, what if uh, we just play?
be a different part, right? I mean, hey, I, I, I can do Mickey. I, 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 I can play Donald. Hell, I'll even play Minnie Mouse if the check's clear. Oh, Chuck. Chuck, no, come on. You know you're too fucking tall for those roles. Yeah. What, a seven-foot mouse walking around the park? No, that's nightmare stuff. <laughs> Think about it, buddy. We don't want to harm the kids mentally. You sure? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm a real boy. No. I'm Chuck. No. <laughs> Chuck, don't cheapen this moment. Don't cheapen it. Walk out of here with your dignity. Listen to me, Chuck. You are better than, than this right now, mm -hmm. OK? Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chuck? Yeah? We're gonna need the costume back. <laughs> really? Yeah. You could just... All right. Yeah. right now.
No, I didn't know that, but I respect her even more now. Yeah, she probably just did it so she could feel something. <laughs> and down this hall is where we have our computer lab. Whoa, computer labs? In my old school, we didn't have computer labs. What did you have? Oh, we had books. Wow, were you poor? <laughs> hey, you guys, who's the new guy? Oh, I think his name is Eddie the Ghoul. He's like from New Jersey, which I think is in New York. Uh, well, he is a stone cold babe. I think I'm gonna go over there and get digits. Digits? God, Jenna, who wrote your dialogue, a 50-year-old man? Probably. Uh, <laughs> no, whatever. I'm just gonna go over there and get the 411. God, this dialogue's horrible. Hey, Jenna, you can't go talk to him. Uh, okay, why not Kelly? Because he's not Cobra Kai. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there like a law now that we're not allowed to date guys that aren't Cobra Kai? Actually, it is a law. Earlier this year, Reseda City Council passed an ordinance saying that young Reseda girls can only date Cobra Kai guys because they're winners, and young Reseda girls can only date winners. Okay, well, what about older Reseda girls? Well, they're already married and with babies because, you know, Reseda's old fashioned like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I don't care what Reseda says. That guy is dope. God, this dialogue's horrible. You know what, I'm gonna go talk to him. Talk to what guy, Jenna? Uh, uh, I, I, her, I, I, her guidance counselor. Um, she's yeah. thinking of becoming a cutter. A cutter? What? I didn't know you were so thought-provoking, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Then why would you cut yourself? Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna be out of it. I wasn't gonna cut myself, okay? I'm gonna go talk to that guy. No way! <laughs> Is he gonna cut you? <laughs> I, I, I don't think so, Vex. No, I... What's all this I hear about you going to talk to some guy? You know he's not Cobra Kai! Oh, really? How do you know that, Ricky? I don't. <laughs> but, as a teen, which I totally am, I am prone to making unfounded accusations in an effort to move towards conflict, and then eventually resolution. I read a lot of YA fiction. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go over there and see whether or not he's actually Cobra Kai. Yeah. Let it go, Vex. This I cannot do. Dana, <laughs> you see, Vex is a team, much like myself. And as such, we have super high levels of testosterone that cause us to act out. Yeah. And so, basically, we cannot control ourselves. Let's go. Come on. Oh, hey, Jeremy. Who's your new little friend over here? Huh? Hey, guys, we're not looking for any trouble. Whoa. Who said anything about trouble? There's not going to be trouble. Hey, you don't understand. These guys are Cobra Kai. Cobra who? Kai. 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 Yeah, I still don't follow. Cobra Kai are the baddest badasses in the whole valley. They take karate to a new level of perfection. <laughs> Wait, who gives a crap about karate? <laughs> karate is the most popular activity in the valley. It's twice as popular as fetishism. <laughs> oh, all right. So you're into karate, Jeremy? No, I live in North Hollywood. It's technically not the valley. You only wish it was the valley for friggin' tax purposes! You know what, Ricky? I'm bored with all this talking. Let's kick some non-Cobra Kai ass! <laughs> I'm sorry, boys, but we have raging hormones right now that are <laughs> rapidly changing, and as such, it causes us to act out physically, thereby satiating our need for physical contact. <laughs> Whoa, Thanks. what's with all this young adult fiction mumbo-jumbo? What does it mean anyways? Well, it means that we got to kick your asses. Oh. Cobra Kai! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kicking command. Yeah. 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 Maybe you guys should back off.
Why? Ever heard of a little old thing called personal space? <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, you have, because I just said it. <laughs> it kind of has a point, Max. <laughs> Who are you, kid? <laughs> Name's Tony. Tony Bon Voyage. <laughs> and I'm the new kid here. Well, new kid, here in Reseda, people don't mess with Cobra Kai, unless they want to get messed with by Cobra Kai. Interesting, because where I come from, nobody wants to get messed with Muay Thai. <laughs> what the heck is a Muay Thai? It's a combat style to Thailand, it's a variation of stand-up strikes and clinching techniques. It's pretty badass where I come from. Uh, where do you come from, kid? Yeah, Pukwana. <laughs> now, unless you guys want to experience what a real ass whooping Muay Kai Thai fighting stance is, I suggest you back off. <laughs> I don't want to either! I bet you don't even have a kata! <laughs> Do you dare to see my kata? Oh, yeah, we dare to double, double dog, dog dare, dare you. triple dare, triple dare you! You! Well, then. <laughs> Muay your kata? Yeah. Prove it. We should probably go. Okay, let's go. Cobra Kai kata! Begin kata! Huh? That's your kata. Your kata's not half bad. Bullcrap! Our kata is the best kata! It's Cobra Kai kata! I have to disagree with you there. Cobra Kai kata is pretty decent, but it doesn't come anywhere close to Moi kata. <laughs> Muay Thai kata. That's it. That's it. Are you ready? To, you ready to fight? Yeah. With a kata step? Oh yeah. I'm ready to fight. So let's start fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the hell are you crazy white boys up to? Okay, Mr. Henderson. They're showing each other their kata. Skew. Kata skew. Skew. See, this is why I hate to see the two extremes on top. But you know what? I'm gonna put an end to this nonsense right now. See, I'm gonna go out back and get a switch. I'm gonna come back and beat all y'all asses. Yeah, see, see that karate shit is nothing against a black man with a good switch. Okay, stay your ass right there and see what happens. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 